Today, I'm taking you to a place that some Japanese don't want foreigners to know about. I know, because when I asked if I could film and share this beautiful area with travelers, I was told no by several places, only citing that they felt ill-equipped to provide the proper hospitality, aka omotenashi, may be understandable. But as long as you're respectful and mind your manners, I don't see why everyone shouldn't be able to experience this amazing place, just like the Japanese locals. How's it going? Oh, I love this train. This is like the perfect day trip. Dude, what did you have? So I have three and I just ate one. <laughs> and I'm having a hard time choosing what to eat next. <laughs> Are you going to eat it all? I don't know. <laughs> it, it depends. What do you recommend next? So I just had ikura. <laughs> yes. Okay. So this hidden place is Katsunuma Yamanashi. Yamanashi Prefecture produces the most wine in Japan and Katsunuma is a city that has lots of well-known wineries. And it's only about one and a half to two hours away from Shinjuku Station. If you hop on the express train, you don't even need to worry about the transfer, which makes it a perfect one-day getaway. Wow, so that was the quickest trip on the train. It felt like only 30 minutes, but it was actually more like an hour and a half. But wow, I just love being on the second floor of that train. You feel like you can really, really see all of the landscape going through Japan. Look at that, it's such a beautiful train. The landscape here is even more beautiful. These are all the, what, different wineries here? You can actually rent bikes here and they're pedal assist so even if there's hills it'll like help you up the hill which is nice. So I've actually been to Budonoka over there a long time ago maybe like three or four years ago but I haven't been back since and this place is just so beautiful. I was there like kind of in the fall and it was really really cold whereas right now it's a perfect weather. It's really nice and sunny. <laughs> so apparently the easiest thing to do is just ride the taxi there right when you get off the station. There is a taxi stand right here you can see you might want to get out a little bit earlier because all the people behind me are waiting in line for the taxi So just behind me is the winery that we're going to go to today. When you think of Japan, you never really think of Japanese wine, but they actually have some of the best wine in the world. And I definitely wanted to show you guys that this is one of the trips that you can take yourself and it's super easy to get here. Yeah, so today let's just have fun. I want to show you around this winery and then maybe we'll get into some other stuff outside because we have an entire day here. This is a pretty cool lounge. Look how dope this place is. It has its own bar. It has this balcony over here. I'm just really impressed with like how like spick and span this place is. Here's a question for you. You ask, okay? Uh, which prefecture has the most wineries in Japan? Yes! I got it right! How many wineries are here? Choose from this, okay? More than 15. More than 25, more than 35, more than 15. Everything still correct. is. <laughs> <laughs> more than 15. <laughs> I got it right again. <laughs> Out of all the places we asked, Maruki Winery was the only place kind enough to let us film. And it's cool because they're the oldest winery in Japan. We learned that it was established by Mr. Tsuchiya, who was one of the first two people who were sent to France to study wine production in 1877. Wow, you get a really strong sense of like the wine. You can smell it in the air. Also, almost like a rotten smell, but it smells good. 
We also learned a little bit about the history of the place, how they make wine, and got to take a look inside the wine barrel storage. Look at all these barrels behind me. This is amazing. I feel like I'm in an actual dream. You can just live here for the rest of your life. All right, now off to the vineyard. Let's go. And they even have cute sheep everywhere. These fluffy guys eat grass, chill all day, and sneak a few grapes when they can. Now off to the vintage wine cellar. I'm ready to grab and run. This is the yeah. this this is is Indiana it? Jones moment. More than 35,000 bottles of wine are quietly sleeping in this dark and cold cellar. And after all that, we got to taste the wine. <laughs> we got to taste five different types of wine in this dope private tasting room next to the wine cellar. It's so clean and just easy to drink. Wow, this is like a taste I've never had before. It's so sweet and easy to drink. It feels like I'm eating candy. Look at that. I've never tried anything like this before. It's very interesting. Um, I'm definitely gonna buy this. Azamasu! <laughs> Too funny. Oh damn, we just forgot to pay for the tour. We gotta go back. We've gotta go back. We gotta go back. Look at that behind me. They have like a canvas of grapes just sheltering them from the heat. Check it out. There's a liquor store right by the elementary school. We visited another winery, Kuramabun Winery. I can't show you inside, but this beautiful 130 year old house was renovated as a wine salon. Their 500 yen wine tasting is definitely worth a visit, but remember to mind your manners. <laughs> So we just finished the wine tours and going to all the different places which was pretty awesome today. But we have like an hour to kill and we're right by the station. We bought a lot of wine so we might as well just kind of like enjoy it today. Look, we're having a picnic. So I got some wine from the winery at Maruki. The thing is, what are we going to open it with? Luckily, I actually brought a wine opener today. It comes in this plush box. And here's a sleek wine opener, wine seal cutter, CO2 cartridge, then take the seal cutter and twist it like so, and it comes off just like this. So I got this wine opener for this company called Apero. What's pretty cool is that it has kind of like a needle at the bottom that punctures the actual wine cork, and then you actually have... Whoa! I actually put the CO2 already in there. <laughs> Didn't know that it would do that. All you have to do is apparently puncture this cork with this needle here and it has like a hole in here so just pop it in like this like so and I think we just press this button right here one two three look at that it popped right open pretty spick span right cork is right there I think just to like to take it off unscrew it like this and then Pop it off. Easy as that. One, two, three, Dunsey. Now we have a good bottle of wine to drink. Thanks to Vero for sending me this. If you guys are interested in this, I'll leave a link below in the description and then you guys can check it out. All right, so that concludes my day trip to a Japanese winery. If you like this video, help me out and hit that like button. And if you want to see more adventures in Tokyo or in Japan, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>